we have a climate crisis heading towards us. And we're battling with a very, very um, complex problem here. There's no magic bullet to this, but we've got to do something. The reduction of methane is the single biggest opportunity to slow climate change right now. For all global emissions, 14.5% is from livestock. And the majority of that is in the form of methane. Methane is about 28 times more potent than carbon dioxide in trapping heat, but methane does not stay in the atmosphere for too long. The average is about 12.4 years. But carbon dioxide, it stays in the atmosphere for thousands of years. Currently, we have 1.5 billion cattle on the planet. And despite all these beef and dairy alternatives coming to the market, the beef and dairy industry is still forecast to grow significantly over the next few decades. And also, many of the developing markets, populations moving from cereal-based diets to protein-based diets. So we're going to be with cattle for quite a long time to come. Agriculture is one of the top three contributors to greenhouse gases. And enteric fermentation, i.e. the production of methane from the cows and sheep and goats, is the largest contributor to that. Together they emit five gigatons of CO2 equivalent. In order to be able to keep the temperature down between 1.5 to 2 degrees centigrade, we have to target those gases that are very potent while they are in the, in the atmosphere as well. So it's really important for us to be able to reduce methane in the short term. And if we are going to try to reduce methane emissions, then we have to look at the way that the methane is being produced. Methane is a natural byproduct of the digestion and fermentation that's going on within the animal's gut. The methanogens, microbes that reside in the gut of the animal, they take the hydrogen that's been produced by other microbes in the breakdown of fiber in particular, and their byproduct is methane. The cow can belch out the methane so that the amount of gases within the gut remains low. In the process, unfortunately, the cow produces a lot of methane. We now need to find a way to reduce that methane and then enlist the cows to help us cool the planet. Let's see how we can help those cows reduce that output and reduce that methane level. Our journey starts with garlic. That's what we know best. Garlic has a fantastic chemistry locked inside it. And what we have mastered is harnessing some of those byproducts, metabolites that are created when parts of garlic meet each other for the first time and stabilize that for a reduction of methane emissions from ruminant animals such as cows and sheep. Here we are analyzing compounds that we have identified as potential targets that show promise in reducing methanogenesis in the rumen. So we're separating the individual chemical components from within a particular plant to identify what might be the active inside of that. 80% in that palette is our mutual technology. 20% is uh, coatings and flavors. They taste lovely, you can eat them yourself. These pellets are then mixed into the feed where it gets fed to the cow. We've done some experiments with Mutrol and we've seen a reduction as well in, in beef cattle. We found a British farm as the first farm in the world that deployed Mutrol. We showed at their farm in a scientifically supported trial that we were able to make significant reductions in methane. We see that it's possible to reduce methane production from ruminants without affecting the cow's health detrimentally. Mutual allows farmers to deploy a natural product into their animals that gives them additional benefits that helps the farmers with increased milk yields, with fly abatement because Mutual comes from garlic and the compounds being exhaled by the cow keeps the flies away. It reduces substantially the need for antibiotics we looked at how we could help promote the adoption of Mutual. Seeing that the product not only reduces methane, but also brings other benefits to the farmers, which is great because then farmers will be more likely to implement this solution. Mutual allows companies to supply climate-friendly products to stay relevant in the face of demand from consumers who want to increasingly buy sustainable products. We saw the opportunity, we saw the impact this may have on the planet 
And when we saw that we could reduce methane from cows up to more than 30%, then that translates into a potential reduction across all the 1.5 billion cows on the planet of one and a half gigatons, and that's not even counting the sheep yet. Methane doesn't stay in the atmosphere for that long. It stays in the atmosphere for about 12 years. So if we start reducing methane now, we actually will get into where there is no more increases in the effect of methane because the methane that's been belched out now will be destroyed in 12 years from now. And so as long as you keep that, there's no, you're not adding anything into the, into, the, into the atmosphere. So if we can reduce the methane level quickly, we would be buying ourselves a lot of time to change our CO2 consuming habits and having a technology that can reduce methane by 20, 30, 40 percent um, is massive. It's a massive opportunity. It's a quick win for the planet. Um, and as such, it's an enormously important piece in the jigsaw. We can actually reverse the warming. So it's really uh, critical to try to stop this trend that's going on, it's particularly in methane is warring at the moment. And, and we do have some solutions, particularly for the livestock industry, to be able to reverse this trend. We are working with our partners to improve the productivity of livestock. Improving productivity, which means then you don't have to increase the livestock numbers. Mutual is a movement. It's more than a product. We need to have everybody participate. We need to democratize climate solutions. We need to have everybody take part in that. We've shown that it can be done. We will get to a tipping point where what we do will become the norm where everybody will want to and need to get in front of this. That's what I mean when I say everybody wins and everybody participates. And this is a model for how this is done.